Hello, I'm Paul from Advantech, and together with Marek from Ubicube, we're going to present an SD-WAN test drive portal initiative from partners Advantech, Inia, FlexiWAN, and Ubicube that streamlines the evaluation process of UCPE and open source SD-WAN solutions. At the end of this short introduction, Marek will walk us through the portal to demonstrate secure SD-WAN orchestration and automation on UCP white boxes from a single pane of glass. The portal is a powerful tool that allows to test performance and functionality of secure open source SD-WAN solutions based on FlexiWAN and PFSense VNFs, ENIA NFVI, Advantech UCP white boxes, and Ubicube's integrated automation platform. The portal is available at the URL shown here, where users can find all information about the different testing scenarios and register for their free test drive. The end goal of the portal is to facilitate UCP and open source SD-WAN adoption. Service providers and enterprise customers need to go over a sometimes painful and time-consuming evaluation process on their mission to deploy the right SD-WAN solution that involves multiple vendors and configurations. Now, this portal cuts through that process and is made available free of charge to provide immediate access to a range of mainstream UCP configurations that meet all SD-WAN requirements from small branches that need just a few megabits per second of throughput to cloud-based UCP platforms requiring a few hundreds of gigs of throughput. Service chaining and VNF onboarding aren't easy, hence our goal to change that. This hands-on experience lets users get familiar with UCPE, VNF service chains, automation tools, and evaluate fully functional instances across the whole software stack. The portal is hosted in Advantex Labs. Users with a login can access their evaluation setup through a secure remote connection. Their entry point will be the UPCube and INEA management, orchestration and automation tools. A network connection to the Advantech white box UCPEs will then be made available to create different SD-WAN configurations. The evaluation units are pre-configured with INEA NFV access, FlexiWAN, SD-WAN and PFSense firewall. They provide all the required elements to run a wide range of secure SD-WAN tests between UCPEs. Users will be able to manage their evaluation units through NEA UCP Manager and FlexiWAN SD-WAN controller. And the lab also connects to a cloud-based MANO from Ubicube for a unique integrated automation experience. And now off to you, Marek, for the demo. Hi, my name is Marek, and I'm going to demonstrate orchestrating a VNF for FlexiWAN and PFSense using Ubicube's MS Activator and NEA's UCP Manager. So let us log into MSA here. And we'll select our relevant customer for this exercise and go down to automation where we have our workflows. Now, initially, we'll check that inside INEA's UCP manager, there's nothing else running. There's currently one instance of Flexi1 running. And we'll create another instance of Flexi1 and an instance of PFSense. So we have two workflows. One workflow, which will run the first workflow multiple times based on how many VNFs we want to create. So let's go into our multi-VNF workflow. Now we have a workflow instance already pre-created. We pre-populated values. So we go to deploy a VNF. Here we've got the IP addresses. We've selected our UCP device, which is from INEA, which references this device here. And the VNF descriptor, which references the relevant image for both Flexi1 and PFSense. So if we go ahead and run this, this will run invoke VNF. And if I go to the other workflow, it'll have created two separate instances, one for Flexi1 and one for PFSense. So if we click into this and we go into the details, we can see the steps that are being used to create this VNF. So initially we get the session token, VNF descriptor information, any additional device information and connection information, and we pass it into instantiate VNF. So now we can see that inside the UCP manager, we're actually instantiating the VNFs. 
So our initial VNF instantiation should now be instantiation is complete. Oh, now we've created an instance of the MSA device to represent the VNF in MSA itself. We've done provisioning, attached any relevant profiles, and we synchronized with the UCP manager to make sure everything's okay. So if I now go to my managed entities, I can see I have both a Flexi one and a PFSense managed entity created to represent the VNFs. So if we go back to automation and go back into our workflow, provide everything's now fully created and up and running, we can control these VNFs. So if I go to stop a VNF from MSA, it'll send the relevant stop command, any UCP manager will receive it. And as you can see, the Flexi1 VNF has stopped. Then we can restart this and momentarily it'll go back up to running as the command's received. As now that it's running, we also have the ability to terminate any running uncreated VNFs. So if we go to terminate VNF, run that. This will then delete the VNF from the UCP manager and the represented managed entity within MSA itself. So now the Flexi1 UB uh, VNF is gone. So if we go to managed entities, now you can see that it's gone here as well. And we'll do the same here. We'll delete the other VNF. As you can see, it's destroying. Go to managed entities and the represented managed entity device is gone. Thank you for listening.